Hi, how's it going? Dan here. Um, basically, I'm in Istanbul about to get a hair transplant, and I just wanted to share my journey. Um, because, to be honest, YouTube reviews is what really helped me when I was making the decision to come over here. Um, I'm literally eight hours away from starting my procedure, and um, I'm just gonna kind of go into a bit of a background from my hair history. Um, so I'm 28, I've been on finasteride for a couple of years, minoxidil on and off. Um, the minoxidil, I didn't really see a help when I was consistent with the finasteride, it did help. Um, obviously there's side effects to those that everyone knows about, so it's up to yourselves if you just want to start taking that. Um, a lot of clinics over here recommend you start taking finasteride and minoxidil. Um, but again, it's your own personal preference. Um, I started losing my hair. I knew I was always gonna go bald, um, but I started losing my hair from kind of the front here and then the crown when I was about 23 is when it started seriously going. I did a, I went back to college then in 2018 and um, it really, really increased the uh, hair loss process very rapidly. Um, in the space of seven months, I was uh, my hair was unrecognizable. Um, so um yeah the reason why i'm over here at the minute is um obviously to get a hair transplant but it was kind of a i did research back in march um on a few different clinics as to kind of what was available what i wanted um and the reason why i went with the clinic i'm going to is called food capular food capular maybe is how it's pronounced but um the reason why i'm going there is um one of the reasons I was looking at a few places is the doctor does the in um, implantation process. Now technicians do the FUA extraction, but the doctor does the implantation, and that's why I wanted to go with this place. And um, Doctor Turan, um, I've I actually heard about him in a few blogs and stuff online, and um, that's why I thought you know what I'll go with this guy. Um, I did research on several places, um, and then. Obviously, COVID got in the way, and back in March, I had a place booked, and I was going to going to go there, and then Turkey was put on the red list for Ireland. So, obviously, depending on where you were traveling from, but at the time, that means you couldn't go, and the vaccine process in Ireland wasn't that far ahead there. So, I didn't, I wasn't vaccinated, I couldn't go, I had to cancel the trip. So, <clears throat> I literally put a hold there, all my kind of research. A few months later, I came back to it, and I was thinking. I really need to get one now because I'm getting married next year and I want 12 months growth before I get married. Um, so I contacted all the places that I was kind of researching before and Food Capular had a cancellation. And so although I did quite a bit of research back in March, this was really spur of the moment. I booked it two weeks ago and here I am, um, which is a bit nerve wracking all the same. Uh, but I mean, so far so good. What I'm getting done, um, I'm getting 4,250 graphs. Um, obviously, I have my consultation tomorrow morning where we'll go through exact details of kind of what's going to be done. Um, but I'm very realistic. I've got a, I've always had a, a high hairline when it was fully there. Um, I can't bring it down too far. I would look completely unnatural. I have a big fucking forehead, a five head, some people would call it. Um, so I'm going to get hopefully zoom in move in a bit closer hopefully just along here like i don't want to come down here i think it'll look unnatural and ridiculous and obviously i'm thinning in the center here as well as the big donut on the back um so yeah that's what i want covered the another thing to talk about is kind of getting over here especially with covid any potential issues i'm fully vaccinated so I didn't need to get a PCR test before three days before or three days when I'm flying home. Once you're vaccinated and you prove you're vaccinated, that was fine. And um, there is one form to fill out um, online. My clinic sent me a link to it. So that was no issue whatsoever. I filled it in five minutes and you just get a kind of QR barcode on a piece of paper. It's fine. Or you can have it on your phone. Um, I was really quick to fill out and that was it really there was no hassle in the airports no extra long stopping um flying from dublin to istanbul you usually fly with turkish airlines 
which were brilliant to play with. They're so much better than Reiner and Erlingus and the likes. Um, they really do look out for you. Um, arrived at 20 past 11, roughly. Um, walked outside. They sent me this document and everything was really straightforward. All my communication with them was over WhatsApp, which is great. Um, they were very quick to get back to me on any questions I had. Um, I went straight through, uh, no issues with to, with passport control, no issues over COVID or anything like that. Um, went straight out, exit, a specific exit that they told me, and then there was a guy there at the specific sign that they said they'd be holding up. Um, had to wait around for 5-10 minutes while he sort to do lifts and stuff like that, but that was totally fine, it was no issue. And then um, my driver brought me to the hospital where I got my bloods taken. Um, um, the nurse was quite good at getting the bloods out. It didn't really hurt that much. Um, no excess bleeding or anything like that, but um, that was fine. And now I am in my hotel, checked in. The room's okay. It's fine. Um, again, for a four star at home, you'd probably expect a little better, but like it's 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 totally fine. Um, and I'm gonna have to get used to it because I'll probably be lying up in bed for a few days in here until I fly home. Um, so yes it was actually really handy that the hospital runs 24 hours where they do the blood tests it means like you don't need to get in at a specific time as long as you're in the day before your procedure that's fine and then it kind of takes pressure off if you get delayed or anything like that which was good and um, I wasn't delayed but it was good it's good in case you know Um, so tomorrow I have day one of my procedure where they're going to do extractions and uh, they're going to do extractions and then they're going to do implant implantations part one and then they'll do the second bit uh, the following day so my procedure is over two days um which i'm not too fussed about um, it's okay so it's thursday night right now friday saturday my procedure sunday i go back for a wash i couldn't get a later flight on sunday so i fly home on the monday so it, it's a bit of a longer trip than i would have wanted everybody kind of wants to be in home in their own bed when they're recovering from something like this but it is what it is, it's no big deal, I'll get through it. Um, probably the toughest prep about the uh, for the procedure was no caffeine. Um, I love my cups of tea and I love my coffee and when I stopped taking them I actually had drawl symptoms, serious headaches, felt like shit. But um, after a couple of days it was fine I'm, and I actually felt the benefits of it then for the rest of the week. I felt good, I felt fresh, you know not being dependent on caffeine as much but uh, i'll definitely be going back to caffeine once this is all over but yeah for a week before the procedure they told me not to drink caffeine they told me not to drink told me not to smoke i don't smoke anyway so it's no problem um but yeah that's kind of everything i have in regards to information up to this point um i will do a day one and day two updates probably just throw it all into one video because there won't be much difference um and uh, yeah, and then I'll be doing weekly or monthly, I'll see how I feel. Obviously editing videos and shit like that's time consuming, so I'll be doing updates as as I go on. And the only reason I'm doing this is just, I saw a few videos online of people in, on YouTube who kind of went through their whole experience in this, and it really, really helped me kind of come to grips with, yeah, Istanbul is the place to go. Um, A lot of the clinics are, it's all the package where you pay for your procedure and include your driver and include your hotel and include your transfer to and from from the hotel to the clinic and back and yeah so it it is a daunting thing coming over on your especially i came on my own but it is a daunting thing flying to a different country that you're not familiar with and getting a procedure done with knowing every side in case anything goes wrong but um, you just kind of re keep reassuring yourself that you're one of thousands of people who came over to do this and the end goal is what you're coming for so yeah I'll be doing a continuation video uh, videos of my whole process and uh, yeah hopefully it just shed some light on for other people who are in the same situation and thinking about going um, that's kind of all I want to do I absolutely fucking hate talking in front of a camera but I realize the benefits for other people it's a uh, it's worth it so yeah um any questions i'm happy to answer um i'm not an expert in this stuff i'm not an expert on finasteride minoxidil I'm not an expert on what's the best clinic and i do recommend you do your own research find a place you're comfortable with 
but still happy to help and answer questions if I can. So, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go to bed because I have a really long day tomorrow. But um, yeah, I will follow up on more updates. Bye, guys.